let's try this. Yes! Oh! Wow, this is a very explosive start to the game. <laughs> Don't know if I should have... Wait, there's a gun? Okay. That's a first for an amnesia game. <laughs> this is already totally different to every other game. Um, it's caught me off guard a bit, actually. <laughs> But yeah, I'm finally catching up. I'm finally on the last Amnesia game. And it only came out like a whole year ago, so... It's like so recent for me. Uh, yes, that's how it used to be. So there are some similarities already, but... Still, it's uh... I was not expecting such a quick and explosive beginning. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah. I'm guessing ammo will be really, really scarce. Since each one of them boxes was one bullet. <laughs> uh, I was thinking ammunition was going to be... <laughs> Bountiful for a moment. All three boxes straight away, but no, each box is one bullet. Oh, I do actually need to break that. <laughs> Move. They're bad or not. Good guy. <laughs> oh, that's quite a cool way of looking at that. Where does this lead? Any ammo? No. So, cloth, yeah, quite predictable as used for crafting, and two cloths form a bandage.
Wait, how do I actually do that? Ah, there we go. I feel like maybe there's a bit too much interactivity. Like, why do I need to hold down one button and then press another? After equipping a bandage just to put the bandage on. Ooh, grenades. Oh no, I'm not meant to waste a grenade on this door, am I? I think I was supposed to. Wasting all the resources that I'm getting. Oh, what? Did I just... I swear I had four bullets and I've only used three. Oh, no, I wasted the last one on the good guy, didn't I? <laughs> That will probably bite me later on when I'm desperate for one bullet. Go. It's a dead end. Well, that's great. Died already. Oh no. I think it was meant to happen. We make it out of this hell together. Now follow me. We're nearly there. <laughs> Beat that roll, my friend. Fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight then. C'est la vie. Don't know why subtitles didn't come up. So, it seemed like I was just having a party or something, and now I'm here, surrounded by bodies and gloomy woodland. What's that all about? It's a bit of a change of scenery, isn't it? I've got no ammo. That's a great sign. Back to safety. Just hold on to me. Why aren't subtitles working? It was giving closed captions for random noises, but not for speech. 
Right, so I've had a look. They're all turned on. I don't know why they're not working. Very irritating. Well, it works for that, but not for the like cutscene bit. Where do I go? Ah! Now on your own, learn, adapt, experiment, and survive. So, if I'm on my own, how did I wake up in a hospital bed? Who brought me here? Uh, T to rotate. Okay. Anything under these pillows? No. not to lie down on them, that would be quite painful. So, as predicted, this is World War One, based after all of the other games, I think. Well, definitely after The Dark Descent, definitely after Justine, and definitely after Machine for Pigs. Can't remember when Rebirth is based. Oh, well. Um, 10th of July, 1916. Soldat Clement admitted to medical treatment following events of 9th July. Personal effects held in the storage locker. Patient remains in weak coma state. Will respond to stimuli but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events. Had trouble recalling even his own name, most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. Will continue to monitor if status does not improve in a week's time. Recommend transfer to Saint Etienne for neurological tests. Signed, Dr. Jasinski. Still have to wonder how I ended up here. They said you were on your own. So, did I end up here when? Some time obviously had gone past. I've got amnesia, obviously, because it's an amnesia game. I don't remember things, and now I've got. So time, some time passed, and then during that time, I'm assuming everyone either died or left. And now I'm on my own. I've woken up on my own, but somehow I'm still alive despite not being guarded for that whole time. And I've got amnesia. So that's always good. Ah, flashlight. Ah, that's an interesting new mechanic for this. Rather than finding fuel for it, you, ha you can manually charge it. So essentially it's like infinite flashlight, I'm assuming. 
but charging it makes noise. That's that's an interesting new new mechanic. Spices things up a bit. 9th of July, 1700 hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I've done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh. The thought of eating repulses me. It's nice to know that some of these notes will be read out for me. So is there a sanity meter? I'm assuming there is. A sanity or a rage meter. Something that happens while you're in the dark or looking at scary things. Okay, that's that's a lovely photograph. Thank you for that. Um, uh, this does not look very nice. No, not nice. So this thing runs out of charge even when you're not using it. Well, that's going to be a, a bit of a balancing game then, isn't it? Oh no. Ghoul flashbacks intensify. not <laughs> oh no it's not a good sign that will be locked obviously <laughs> right so this way where the blood trail goes let's follow the blood trail Somewhere in the excavation site. Get them, and you can make it out. Oh, shit! That thing, it's coming for me! Here, take this! Finish me off, please. I want to die in the hands of a broader soldier, not that monster! Okay. In the pantry. Get it. Do the job, please. What? Where is... Where's... So the officers left us all. Obviously, monsters came along. And the officers uh, abandoned us, locked us down here. At least I wasn't totally alone in this. I mean, I'm about to be. Well, <laughs> hopefully I killed him with that, and then he won't have to suffer. I know it uses up a bullet, but he seemed quite helpful, so I thought I'd at least do him that one courtesy. Oh, yay. Oh. 
I don't know what the maximum is. Like, when do you stop... When do you stop charging it? I was looking forward to having this light. So you don't... Because you don't have to find fuel for it. But I'm starting to think it's actually worse. Because... You have to constantly wind it up and it's really loud. Right. The only thing for it is to try and shoot this. Hopefully... It won't do exactly what it just did. Oh... That was a waste. Heard something. 14th July 1916. Body of Sergeant Reynard. Multiple lacerations. Chest cavity torn to shreds. Every rib cracked. Skull cracked. Opened by repeated blunt force trauma. Who could have done this to him? Yes, who indeed? I mean, I already know exactly who did it. So is it ghouls? This thing does not stay lit for long. Just wandering around like a total noob. And I have no ammo now as well. It is interesting that the amnesia is caused by an injury rather than an amnesia serum right so where's the generator I didn't even realize I had fuel in my inventory oh how could I be this lost already games just started Drawing the light was probably a mistake. Ah. What, what even, what is that? Ah. something in there. I've been making too much noise. This just took a very dark turn for me. You know what? 
I bet I could have used the gun on this. Let's try this. Yes! Oh. I froze solid then. I should have gone through the door. Luckily it didn't kill me. I feel like this is already scarier than Rebirth. Important, when processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols or locker codes. These are to be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. Ah, oh, there is a light here. Ah, you can save your progress by lighting this lamp. That's another new mechanic. This game is very different from previous Amnesia games. Ah, oh, use this box for storing things. Wow. Do I... Okay, cool. I don't need fuel for that. That's good. Imagine you can only save if you have fuel for the... Ah, oh, and you can lock this as well. So this is like a safe room. Nice bit of music to let you know that it's a safe room. Ooh. Ooh. Update to all medical and mortuary personnel. The rat problem has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body. They're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it is burnt. So a new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burnt. I have spoken to Father de Ray about this matter. He will provide pay proper consecration for the deceased. Remains will be preserved for families. This is not ideal and it fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming, to, so burn them we must. And what's the best thing the monsters are, these dead bodies? These burned bodies. So let's, let's store... Let's store that stuff now. I've no idea what I should and shouldn't be storing. Ah need a code for this door well that's, that's what uh, where do I find the code for this arms oh, little, little cubby hole thing I need to ah I have found the generator. So this is the thing that you need to balance with fuel then. Oh. Zero four zero five. Well that's helpful, I found that already. I'm going to stay crouched for like most of this game, I think, because it's a lot quieter. Order to all men, the beast hunts in the dark, the light, oh, we've suddenly jumped ahead to the, to the beast now. Um, 
The beast hunts in the dark. The light is our only chance and the generator our only hope. It must be kept fueled at all times, day and night. A continuous rotation of runs to the main fuel supply must be maintained. Watch each other's backs. Keep each other safe. Do not let the light go out for all our sakes. Well, I'm still alive and the light's been out this whole time. So... So what is the beast then? Warning, generator fuel is extremely flammable. Do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, do not even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it only in sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately and dispose of the rags outside the bunker. At what point do you just abandon the bunker and go, yeah, we probably shouldn't be here anymore. This monster's more dangerous than the people up top. But whatever. Oh, can I put this on? A little bit of music. Probably not. Okay. So is that the code for this door or something else? Let's find out. Zero four zero five. Ah. Nice. Now, should I fuel the generator first, or should I save the fuel? Use your written brain to experiment. If you think something might be possible to do, it probably is. This is the, the uncertainty of progression in this game is what's making it super scary. Because the other Amnesia games are all quite linear and you can't defend yourself in those games. You have to run and hide. So there's no like... You know, you don't need to worry about bullets. Fuel you only need to worry about for lanterns. This one... This game there seems to be a lot more that needs balancing. But it is nice there is a safe room that you can use to save progress. So for the for the first few minutes after saving, you can sort of go a bit mad and not really worry about it because if you die, you go you only go back a few minutes. See, realistically, you would just sort of claw at this until you get out, wouldn't you? It doesn't look that difficult. more fuel. Maybe fuel isn't as rare as I first thought, but I don't know how long it lasts. Each one of those canisters might only be 30 seconds for all I know. Have not seen another human for hours now. I might be the last. But in the hope that there might be another, I leave this now so you do not waste any time. This is the only exit. The only way out of this hell of our own making. It was blown closed. It needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging. Impossible. Blow it up. Okay, well, there goes that plan of clawing your way out then. I still think it doesn't look that, like, impossible. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels, deeper in hell. I go now to try to retrieve them both. So I do not know if you exist, I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. But you do know I exist, because you probably saw me in the medical bay. I mean, I suppose I was in a coma, but, you know, still. 
You just found a new objective. Objectives will be marked on your maps and notes containing objectives will be highlighted in the notes. So we've got a map as well. Where's the map? I don't see no map. is actually quite terrifying. Oh, this just leads back round to here. I mean, it did say infirmary, but I thought maybe there was a second infirmary in there, but no, it just leads back to... back to the original infirmary that we started in. Right, so the arsenal is that way. Which is locked, as that note said. Where did it say the key was? Oh no, it's detonator handle. Dynamite is locked in here. It doesn't say where the key is. Very long. That's moving so quickly. The lights aren't even on. How do I look at that? That's a map, but where is... Where do I find that? I 
don't know how to look at the map. Get back. I have light. Temporarily. None of these. Why is he not getting the time out? Oh, two. That's about to run out. Well, I haven't got any bandages. Oh, man. This is hard. about to run out. This is not good. Brick's still here, yes. Oh.
Oh, right. You can only see the map here. So I was just in that green area. Get me too much light. Of July 1916, night. A strange scratching sounds a few moments ago. So, this must be when they were just starting to discover it. Uh, a few moments ago, and now it sounds like someone is pacing in the hallway. Probably Raynard, drunk on the stash of wine. I know he hides from us. Best confront him now, either get him into bed to sleep it off or convince him to share a bottle or two with me. 15th July 1916, cold fear runs through all our veins now. Fournier has terrorised the men for answers. They say they were asleep until Reynard's screams, I believe them of course. Fournier went so far as to accuse prisoner 73014 of escaping his cell and committing the murder. Impossible. I worry about Fournier. His rage hides fear. He takes it out on the men and I can see no way to stop it. It breeds contempt. My mind slips back to the moment Reynard started screaming. How easily it could have been me, how easily it still could be. For the first time I wish the order to attack would come. I would rather face a thousand German guns than this nameless dread. Yeah, that's pretty much what I said. Like, you'd rather be fighting up top than down here. said I needed to come here. That brick. Just wasting time now. Oh, the brick's broken. Oh, so you can only use them a couple times. Yeah, 
now that it's useless now. Now, that's another annoying thing. How do I open these things up? What? The lights are on, go away. I don't know. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I need a new, like, wheel thing for that to open the doors. I'm assuming that's what they do. around in a point in a circle. Door's locked. I know where a brick is at least. find found any more fuel so pretty much destined to die yeah, great there's nothing in there that's brilliant that won't open I should have probably thrown it at the door instead. <laughs> what a noob move. Just things to break doors and things with. I'm not finding any. Like there's literally none. I'm not even gonna save game here because I feel like I've just soft locked myself. rather go back to a time when I had some fuel. Second of May 1916, from Sergeant Hubert 
to M. Fournier and D. Blanchett. Engineers have broken through our storage area into the old Roman tunnels. They are, as we thought, structurally sound, deep, and I confess I was skeptical, skeptical of this last point, but they do indeed lead in the direction of the German line. By September we should be in position to launch a massive push from inside the tunnels, perhaps of note, inside the tunnels we found urns, Latin texts, etc. We'll do our best to preserve some materials for posterity updates to follow. Ah, I have half a bandage. <laughs> Right. And can I drop this? How do you drop? Oh, what's that? Oh, I could make a Molotov or something. of June 1916 from V. Delpy to M. Fournier and D. Blanchett A.L. After raid of last evening, we have in custody some 20 German soldiers from the 4th Reserve Corps of the 2nd Army. This puts our cells past capacity. With one exception, I recommend they be shipped to the camps as soon as feasible. Prisoner 73014, I would like to hold. Before capture, he ripped his rank and insignia from his uniform, so his rank remains unknown. Since capture, he has refused to say a word. I suspect he may be an officer or other important person. I believe once removed from his men, we can break him. Please advise. So that's the one that they accused of the murder. Oh, that looks like a hiding spot. Still haven't found any more fuel, which is not good. Okay, so that noise seems to like automatically spawn the monster near you no matter what that's not good is there no light in here fuel no no way in there now. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm still not going to bother saving, because if I die, I want to go back to when I had three cans of fuel in the thing. I'll just consider this a throwaway playthrough since I'm probably not going to get very far. Why is there no light in here? I have ordered increased security for the arsenal lock and code and will root out those responsible for this horrendous act justice will be done for France. Situation reports after Tremblay's death the bunker descended into chaos. I've retaken control and ordered the men to form up in squads there to hunt the beast down and kill it. They tell me it is not possible. They tell me the bullets don't kill it. 
they only buy a little time and the beast comes back angrier. Cowards, I've sent them back out now to do as they should. Hunt and kill it, if they fail, they'll face worse fate than claws in the darkness. Well, what, what an arse you are. Lovely. Man, who took all these photos? Right, there seems to be nothing else in here. Still can't get through there. I need a brick uh, or a bullet. Something. Been in there, there's nothing in there. Ah, stick. What's a stick meant to do? It's a gas grenade. That, that won't won't blow doors open. So it's hard. Like a genuinely I feel like this is all just going to fail. Ah, meat. What's, what am I meant to do with that? Use it as bait. I feel like that's not going to be that helpful. I could use it to get in here. Snobby can... Uh, yeah. I could throw it through there. So it can like break in there for me because it's it did say something like that earlier i hope that works anyway Find more fuel. Can you break this for me? That might actually work. I feel I feel like I'm working things up. <laughs> ah What does this lead to? Aha. I'm guessing you're supposed to actually turn lights off as you go as well, so you use less fuel, but... I think I've already failed this... Uh, probably not going to get very far. And uh, it will probably require a full restart at some point. 9th of July. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen and still, of course, no word. When I asked the sergeant, he shrugged, as if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. Do they know what I've done? Do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. It's very inconsistent with what gets read out. Because most of them don't get read out, but then that one did. Like, why that one? I wonder 
wonder if this code will also work for this person's locker. Q. They don't have a locker here. I mean, why would they? That would be too easy. Oh, look at all the stuff that's in these. Oh, I need more codes. There is nothing else here. Where's the wheel? Right, I need to go look at that map. Delisle. Oh, right. So I do need to go back in there. I need to find a code inside that room. The room which I can't get into. <laughs> Unless I can blow up this somehow. I don't have any bullets. Oh, this is so annoying. Fuel. How much time have I got? Why would anyone ever use the fuel for anything other than that? Because it said you can pour it on the ground. What use would that be? Why would you not put it in the generator? Ugh. I'm not going to continue being able to jump over that cleanly. Forever. Any more fuel in here, maybe? From Fournier to Foreman Stafford. This is our fourth formal request for resupply of wine. The cellar is running low. I fear the reaction among men and my fellow officers if we're forced to implement harsher rationing. I'm already fielding complaints on a daily basis. This army runs on morale and morale runs on wine. My initial request was 10 crates. So far, we have received two. Fix it! Damn straight. Get that wine. Ah, I'm gonna need like a spanner or something for this. Ah, why is everything so difficult? Why? Uh, Draw. That had no code on it. That's a dead end there, isn't it? Is it? Yes. See how this gets harder if you if the lights go out. Oh, what can that be combined with? Oh, it's fuel right there.
So the trick to this is find fuel and be very quick in finding the things you need to find. a way through right here all along so the code is in here somewhere supposedly 15th of May 1916 from I don't know what STT is LaRue to M Fournier and D Blanchett I am now putting into writing that I have reported to both of my immediate superiors. Last evening, 14th of May, I was assigned to aid the engineers in mapping the Roman tunnels. As I entered the deepest area of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In the distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. I blinked again, it was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I am quite convinced that what I saw was no daydream, it was real. Since that experience, I have felt haunted, like a part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. I keep seeing shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I am formally requesting medical leave, please help me. So this was all going on before I even ended up here, it seems, because I ended up here in July, whereas all these notes were going on in May. Oh nice, I've got a bigger, bigger bag now. Was it nine four five four? Uh, which one was it? Was this one? Was it that one? Yes, J. Delisle nine four five four nine four five four came fuel do I still got a decent amount okay 